What's up? Welcome back to the Uyghur family. It is Wednesday afternoon. We're heading to the church to film announcements. Let's go. I look like Fred Flintstone or whatever his name is. Is that what they look like? They have little things in their head? I think they do. <laughs> this is the only downside of short hair. Is like it fl always slips out for me like this if I don't do it. Mm, it's not really a vibe for me, but let's go to the church. Hey, his name is Zion, and he's here to say oh, he's so cute every day. Say red, what? yellow, green, green, and blue. That's true. He has blood. <laughs> <laughs> you do that. We're done. Okay, we're starting over. Okay. Just, okay. Hey, go, go. Okay. Hey, his name is Zion, and he's here to say he's so cute every day. Say red, yellow, green, and blue. That's true. He has pacifies that color too. Hey. <laughs> Perfect. She said, right now he's wearing a red one. He loved it. Does he have red. fires red, yellow, red. Zion is trying avocado for the first time. He likes it so far. It's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. Chew it up. Maybe next time we'll mix avocados with bananas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he loves it. Oh, no, we're in the wrap carrier. We love it, don't we? Yes, we're gonna make some dinner. He just woke up from a nap. He had his avocado. So I was saying on Instagram, we are doing um, kind of our own version. We're inching our way in to baby wed leaning right now. Oh, we're <laughs> Man, he's laughing. He's baby wed leaning. No, baby he's led a, baby led leaning. He's a baby wed leaning. <laughs> We are in our way into baby led. I said baby led weaning. You did not. You said baby wed leaning. Baby led weaning. Oh. <laughs> just a snuggly boy. Um. So anyway, baby led weaning. He's just loving on me because his daddy's making fun of me. Um. And because I'm basically too afraid to just give him chunks of food like people do for baby led weaning. So I am kind of like inching our way in like i mashed up the avocado which i know people with baby led weaning would just cut it up and give it to him um but i think he could handle it i just don't know that i can so we're taking it easy on on um baby led weaning right now he is still eating though and the reason i say it's kind of our own version is because i'm still trying to have him pick things up and get a feel for things and understand feeding himself and all of that but we're doing it different right now. He's cracking up. <laughs> but I'm just kind of going on instinct and doing what I feel like is good. So today for avocado, I put a couple drops of milk in it just because the avocado wasn't super ripe it was ripe enough but it wasn't like crazy soft so i wanted to soften it a little i know you don't have to he is able to chew with his gums i understand that that's like you know a thing but another reason i'm still wanting to soften it is because he doesn't particularly like try to feed himself very much like he doesn't just grab the food and put it in his mouth um and i know they say you're less likely to choke if you grab it on your own so when he's grabbing food by himself and actually actively always wanting to feed himself um i think i'll do that more obviously eventually he's gonna <laughs> he's not always gonna have food mashed up for him but um anyway today with a spoon he was wanting to grab the spoon and put the spoon in his mouth he isn't quite coordinated enough yet to actually get the spoon properly in his mouth but he really wanted to do it so i think maybe he doesn't like grabbing with his hand um my nephew was like that too like didn't want to get his hands dirty so i thought maybe that might be part of it but maybe he'll get used to it so it's been fun though he loved the avocados today he that was like one of his favorites avocado and sweet potato are his favorite things right now um he didn't really like the banana too much i thought he would love banana because they say like don't start fruits too early which we kind of started fruits but don't start fruits too early because they won't want other things they won't want vegetables because fruits are obviously sweeter but he didn't really care for the banana. I think it was the, the texture. Um, but yeah, so that's what we've done. We've done 
sweet potato, banana, and avocado. And then he's had some baby foods too, but I actually prefer to give him foods that we make. Um, I just know what's in that. I know that it's just that. You know what I mean? Like with sweet potato, I would just make sweet potato and give it to him. It's not seasoned or anything. Same thing with the avocado, and there's obviously not like preservatives and things like that in the food that we make. So I feel like it's definitely better for him, and he likes it better. Nothing against baby food. There's nothing wrong with it. We do have baby food, and he's used it, um, but he definitely prefers like food that we've cooked. So, <laughs> so um, you know, we've made the sweet potatoes and uh, gave him avocado and stuff like that. But I know with baby led weaning, they do like whatever, basically whatever they eat, the baby gets like a less seasoned version of that usually like noodles and all kinds of things. But like I said, I'm just kind of inching my way in and getting used to the idea. Um, I think he would probably do better with it than I would mentally because I'm like, I just don't know if I'm ready to do that yet to go full fledged baby led weaning. Um, but when he's really actively trying to feed himself and that kind of thing, I think it'll, it'll ease my mind more when he kind of gets the chewing motion down and all that kind of stuff a little better. So anyway, um, that's what we're doing and we're having a lot of fun. It's so fun to watch him try new things and uh, I'm really excited about it. So I think next time we do banana, I'll try to put it with avocado because he liked avocado and put a little bit of milk <laughs> in it next time as well because that was, I think that was a really good idea. My mom said to do that and I was like, that's true, could do that. So yeah, that went really well. We're gonna make some garlic bread. <laughs> So Manny made us dinner. Um, I'll show you what he made. So it's some pasta with corn and mayo and this, uh, the knot bread, the garlic bread that I bought from Walmart the other day. Just like mix some stuff up and some cheese on it and make it. It's really super good. Good morning, everybody. Waking up with lashes is definitely the vibe for me. I'm, I love that. I always just feel so much better um my lashes are you guys saw in the vlogs i showed the beef on like at home lashes and my hair is literally disgusting i don't know it's like gotten greasy faster this time which when i say faster i mean it's literally been days since i wash my hair but usually i wash my hair one time a week and it probably could have used a wash a couple days ago to be honest which is odd i feel like when i have shorter hair that happens um but anyway, I um, am, I need to grab my coffee actually. I still haven't finished it. So I was, we gave Zion a bath this morning when he woke up and uh, then hung out with him for a little bit. He is six months today, which is insane, you guys. Six months. Wow. Um, but anyway, he's six months old, so we did a little photo shoot. We always do for his, we do just about every day, honestly. But we always um, make a point to for his six, like for his, not for six months, but for his monthly updates. Um, we had the little wooden circle things that we use that say six months, five months, whatever on them, all the way to a year. So anyway, right now, Manny's putting him down for a nap. I was up with him a lot in the night. So... I think we might be inching in on the six month sleep regression um, because we did have the four month sleep regression, but it wasn't very long. I mean, we probably had like a week of it, which I know some people have like the whole month, you know, so we didn't have much, but I think we did definitely go through the four month regression because after that, he immediately started sleeping better, which I know is kind of what that regression is. Like after that, they, their sleep cycles are going through different sleep cycles. It turns into like how adult sleep cycles are and are able to put themselves back to sleep easier and stuff like that all that was true for him so he started sleeping better which he's never been a bad sleeper if you guys are new here you know he's always um slept well but he's always liked to be held I mean if we could just hold him 24 7 he would sleep like a champ you know what I mean like that kind of thing so anyway we finally figured out what works for us and all that well I say finally it wasn't hard he's a very easy baby he's a very easy um sleeper but we did kind of, you know, find out what works best for us at nighttime and how to do things. Um, and so he was sleeping good. He was still waking up um, to like comfort nurse and stuff like that. But then after the four month sleep regression, probably five and a half months, he started like just straight up sleeping through the night, like a lot. Like the other night he did literally the whole night, never woke up um, from like 8 p.m. to 6.30 a.m. And so I was like, wow, this is like, that's a good stretch, you know. Um, and then the past 
three nights. He has been up throughout the night um, quite a bit, similar to how he was, the four months sleep regression, a little less, but kind of similar to the way that he was. But he's not like inconsolable or even hungry or any of that. Um, and I've, I've heard that the six month sleep regression kind of comes in because they start to realize that you are basically not connected anymore. Like I was reading like babies don't, it's like really interesting. I love stuff like this, but babies don't really realize at first that they're not connected to their mom still like physically, like attached, you know, like in their belly. <laughs> and obviously they know things are different, but they've not really put it together. I guess that you're not one person, you know what I mean? That, like I can leave and go somewhere separate from him. But then around six months, they do start to realize that. So when he wakes up, I have noticed that he's like, I mean, he always wants me when he wakes up, but he's like searching for me. You know what I mean? And I think it's kind of like that attachment thing, you know, like you, that they go through at six months where he's like, oh my gosh, I'm not inside my mommy. You know what I mean? I think it's like that kind of thing. So of course I love that and I love to cuddle him and he's not inconsolable or like screaming. He's never literally in his life been like that. We never even had that as a newborn. Like he was always chill, but, um, he just wants to be held. And so, you know, I wake up throughout the night and walk a little bit with him. He goes back to sleep, you know, lay down and then do it again a couple hours later. That's kind of how it's been the past, um, three nights, which, you know, I'm not complaining about if you guys know we went through infertility and I'm not saying if you go through infertility you can't have like hard times or whatever but I really do like appreciate every moment with him so much that it's truly not even a complaint like I every time I get up with him I think wow I literally prayed so hard like infertility gives you such a perspective of like this could have very easily not been my life but God saw fit that I could have this baby like he allowed me to have this baby and it is a privilege to be a mom and so I'm just thankful um but I was going to put him down for this nap I was rocking him and Manny came in and um said he would just put him down for this nap so um anyway he's in there you know rocking him and putting him down um we do rock him we do walk the floors with him if he wants to do that we do that uh, we never sleep trained or anything like that but it has always worked out really well for us um I don't personally believe in um the cry it out method or any of those methods for sleep training i know there are other ways to do it but uh for us this is just what works just like kind of following his cues and he's always been a good sleeper and an easy baby so we've never gone through anything too wild um but i know sleep regressions are normal and they're good um you know they're like they lead to good things they lead to better sleepers and stuff so it's it's all for a purpose okay so somehow I just spilled my coffee on the couch but anyway um so i um like i said i think it's probably something to do with the six month sleep regression um the four month one wasn't too bad for us it's just like i think like i said the six month he's just learning you know that like it's like attached it's like an attachment thing so anyway um because he did he just did not want to be laid down he just wanted to be held all of that um, so, yeah, that's kind of what we've been doing at night, but like I said, it's no big deal. Um, he does sleep. I mean, it's not like he's awake the entire night. Um, so that's kind of what we've been doing the past few nights, and I know, like, the four-month regression only lasted, like, a week for us. It wasn't even, at first, I was like, is that even what this is? Because it's not, it wasn't very long, but I think it was because he, his sleep did actually improve after that, which it's supposed to, and then... Um, the six month one, you know, obviously you regress a little bit again, um, but it's all for good stuff. It's all working toward him being obviously, you know, an adult <laughs> or a, a toddler or a child that sleeps well, like it's going to help him in the long run to go through these different cycles and stuff. So, um, it's all good stuff, but yeah, he's six months old today. He, I haven't weighed him in a little while, but last time I weighed him, it said 20 pounds. Um, and he's, he's a big boy. He's a happy boy. Um, he's just, I feel like he's so advanced in so many ways. I know all parents probably feel that way about their kids, but he's just like, I don't know. He wants to crawl so badly. He's so determined to crawl and actually even shows interest in walking. He's like, I know it's probably partially instinct, but also like, I know he would love to just take off walking. Like you can just tell if you stand him up, like he just wants to go. 
Um, he's very determined to be mobile, and I can see, like, as a little boy, I can see kind of how he's going to be as a little boy, you know? Um, he's just got that, like, fun spirit to him. Like, he's a, he's a fun little guy. He has the most fun personality, and um, he's absolutely the highlight of my entire life. I've never experienced anything like this. Um, we started solids with him, and um, I talked a little bit about my fears of baby led weaning. I'm just kind of, you know, getting into that in my own way, um, getting a feel for it and all that kind of stuff, but he's enjoying it. I mean, he's definitely likes milk the best, which he's supposed to still at this point, um, but yeah we're on a pretty good routine somebody asked the other day in my family actually if i have like a schedule for him or a routine like a sleep schedule and stuff like that and we just have never had a schedule um we've just kind of let him make his own schedule i feel like especially with breastfeeding and at, with a newborn that's just the easiest way to do it um we've always fed on demand whether it's been like actually nursing or bottle feeding like we don't make him wait until it's feeding time we just feed on demand if he's hungry again an hour later he gets to eat again i feel like you know sometimes i'm hungry sooner than you know other times so we just follow cues for everything we follow his uh, cues for when he wants to sleep you learn all of those as a parent like they always say like you know their different cries you know how they act with different things and before you have a kid, it's kind of like hard to believe that, but you do learn every noise that he makes. I know what he means with that noise. And so we just follow cues. If he's hungry, we know that he's hungry. If he's tired, we know he's tired. Those are really the only two times that he ever cries or <laughs> fusses at all. I'm pretty sure he is teething. I always think I see little teeth in his mouth, but I don't know if it's like I just think it's there because I expect it to be there or if it's actually starting to come in. I know he is teething the way he acts and the, all that kind of stuff. We've actually even given him Tylenol a couple of times, which if you know me, I'm not a medicine kind of person. I'm not against it. I mean, I think if it's necessary, then give it, but I do not take medicine or give medicine unless it is, it is necessary. I didn't take any medicine throughout my pregnancy. Not even Tylenol, what you're allowed to take. I even had dental work done and didn't take it. I'm not saying you should do that. It's probably dumb because Tylenol is fine in pregnancy, but it's just the way that I am. So I didn't get, I, didn't, I don't like to give him anything, but you know, I could tell he was in pain a few days. He was fussing and I think, um, obviously nothing has broken through the skin yet, but I think it's definitely the pain is starting and his gums are hard and um, they look a little swollen. So I think he's definitely teething, um, which is exciting but obviously hard for him so I hate that part but I know again all these things that we go through that are hard is like there's a purpose for it so um but yeah he's doing really great he's literally in six more months he will be having a first birthday I, I don't know like literally time goes by so fast it's crazy as a mom like it's just like they just start growing up. I don't know the newborn phase. I feel like people try to scare you with the newborn phase. And people always talk about how you'll never sleep again and all these things. And number one, it's incredible. Like I have no complaints. It's amazing. I know I did have an easier baby when it comes to the newborn phase. But no matter what, I mean, I feel like you're just on cloud nine. Like you don't care. Um, but so it was amazing but also that part goes by so fast it's like the blink of an eye it, it's just incredibly fast so um yeah i mean we almost have a crawling baby now and he's going to be walking and then he's going to be talking and he's going to be doing all these things and it just happens really quickly so um yeah definitely just keep that in mind like it's such a fast thing enjoy every moment um but today, we don't really have much plan. I'm going to try to do some cleaning and do some things around the house. It's kind of a yucky day. It's been kind of gross here in Texas. It's actually supposed to get cold, though, which is good. I'm excited for that. Um, but tonight, we do have, I can say it because we won't see the vlog before that, but we do have um, my friend Chris's birthday is uh, actually, when would it be? What is today? It's, okay. it's January 1st, so a couple days from now. Um, and her sister's going to go like a birthday dinner for her tonight. Um, I wasn't sure if she knew about it or not, so I haven't said anything, but I'm pretty sure she doesn't because she told me she's going to dinner, but I don't think she knows everybody else is going to dinner. So we're going to meet, um, in Texarkana and go to dinner with her for her birthday, which I'm excited for. Um, and that'll be fun. So we never really go out to dinner ever. So that'll be kind of nice to get out and go to dinner. 
it's supposed to be a nice restaurant it looks like it's pretty good so excited for that but yeah it's gonna be a fun day good morning everybody happy new year's eve um i am in a vlog today we're not really doing a whole lot um but i'll vlog in a different vlog for today um i'm about to go get ready right now and probably gonna run to the store i wanted to get some stuff to make like a a little mini charcuterie board just like me and manny tonight i like to have little snacks like that um and since it's new year's eve i thought maybe we should just have our own little snacks i literally have eye makeup on from last night still but last night was fun um it's gonna be chris's birthday actually tomorrow so that'll be fun too i'll vlog that i'm gonna give her her gift and everything and um like try to go over there and see her if she's gonna be home or i don't know we're trying to plan something but anyway um yeah i'm just kind of jumping on to wrap up this vlog today i'll vlog new year's eve we have our new year's eve communion at the church that we go to it's like a family thing you just go in it's come and go you just go in and um you have communion and leave whenever you want to basically it's like for a certain time frame so we're gonna go do that at like i think six something tonight we usually go at the beginning um so yeah anyway thank you guys for watching this vlog remember you are incredible jesus loves you we'll see you in the next one bye